Hello there guys. Uh, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to do uh, fraction subtraction uh, where you've got whole numbers and fractions, we'll call a mixed fraction. So in this question, which follows on from the uh, 2016 arithmetic video, let's have a look and see what we've got. So in the question, we've got uh, two different fractions. We've got a mixed fraction on the left. So I'm going to just quickly get my pen colour sorted. We've got a mixed fraction on the left, which is made up of a whole number here and our fraction there. And on the right side here, we're subtracting is a second fraction. Now the first thing to note is that underneath the fraction, the denominators are both the same. So we're both looking at sevenths in both the numbers here. Now when we've got a mixed number, the first thing you want to do is you want to turn your mixed fraction into a single fraction. So we don't have a whole number. We want to turn that whole number into a fraction we can express as sevenths. So remember, when it comes to whole numbers and fractions, a whole number, um, if I took the example of quarters, a whole number, if it was 1, will be the same as 4 quarters. So we've got our circle, and we've split up into quarters. One whole circle is 1, 2, 3, 4 quarters, which is why we express it as 4 over 4. So in the same way, if our circle was split up into 7 pieces, 1 would be the same as 7 over 7. Because out of our whole circle, we split it up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 out of 7 pieces is a whole. So we can take our 1 here and we can express that instead of as, a, as one whole, we can express that as 7 over 7, 7 sevenths. Now for our mixed fraction here, we've got the whole number 1 and the extra 7th as it's 1 and a 7th. So we're saying we've got 1 and 1 seventh. So you've got our 1 here, 7 sevenths, add that 1 seventh there. We add our 7 sevenths to our 1, we just add together the numerators, so we add together the 7 and the 1, which will give us 8 over 7. Now we call this a top heavy fraction, because the number of the numerator, the number on top, is larger than the denominator, which is the number underneath. So, as we're subtracting though, we don't need to worry about that. So now that we've turned our mixed fraction into, an, into a top heavy fraction, now we're going to do this next bit here where we're going to subtract the 3 sevenths. So we've got our 8 sevenths. If you find it more helpful, you can always drop the fraction down onto another line. So we have to put our 8 seventh underneath there. And we're going to subtract 3 sevenths. Subtract 3 over 7. Now, because the denominators are the same, it's as if we're using the circle which is still split up into uh, 7 pieces. So, if we've got 8 of those pieces, subtract 3 of them, we're simply going to do 8 subtract 3. So, 8 subtract 3 is going to be 7, 6, 5 over... Now, because we're um, subtracting from the same kind of fraction over 7, our answer's also going to be over 7. Because essentially what we've done is we've said we had 8 pieces of the pie, each of which was worth a 7th. And then we took away 3 of those pieces. So instead of 8 pieces, we've only got 5 of them re remaining. So it's going to be 5 over 7. And then all you need to do is then pop your answer in the box there, and that's what the examiner will be looking for. So just to recap that, first of all, turn your mixed fraction into a top heavy fraction, so convert your whole number into an expression of the denominator here, so sevenths. So in this case, we have one lot of seven over seven. Add its other part of its fraction to give you a top heavy fraction, and then simply subtract the numerators from the top. So we take our eight over seven, subtract the three over seven at the top here to give us five over seven. There you go. That's how you do um, subtraction involving mixed fractions where the denominators are the same. Hopefully you found that video useful. Uh, remember, this is part of a series looking at the 2016 arithmetic questions. If you'd like to see more of this content, then do leave a comment in the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, then why not like and subscribe to the channel for more of the same. And if you did enjoy it and you know somebody who would uh, benefit from the video, then why not share it with them or share it with your teachers, uh, as I'd love this to be a useful tool to use in class. But thanks so much for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you in the next video.